Life began in a small corner of a faraway world while no one was looking. Planet Lifandi. No one was looking, yet the planet was pregnant with new possibilities. We had to imagine our way through space and time on an impossibly long journey from Earth. We'll appear on Nifandi as a shimmering shape, Tsretsa. Three billion light years later, as the horizon rotates our gaze away to the stars. Many have seen challenging times in the three billion years since life began as a tiny speck in the sea of Lifandi. I am the Lord of Sassenkrad. The Lord of Sassenkrad lived in the cold comfort of the shadows and the dark of the night. My broken heart, it has me living in fear of the sunshine, but this must change. I will host a fabulous summer fair in my castle garden. Though she lived thirty etonyms ride away, bright Lady Lily loved the woods, and she chooses to walk out in the sunshine, rather than get there in a dark carriage. Lady Lily... I think of you as a daughter and only want you to stay safe. Oh, Sen, I am carrying the bold brilliance that you have drawn open to me in life to a most surprising and sweet invitation. Keep your wits about you and follow your own dreams and desires. I will, Sen, I will. Lily cherishes her freedom. A freedom that leads her to discover a woodland clearing where a great party is in full swing. Lily throws herself into the dance, whirling with glitter. A glamorous surlau, she captivates the crowd. And time sparkles as the night falls across Lily's journey towards Lord Sussancrad's summer fair. There are good and bad woodland folk, with fun and with very unfair party tricks. Keep your wits about you, Lily. The next morning. What the? Where the? How? When? Why? It's all such a blur. All the dizzying dancing and whirls of glitter so late into the night has left everyone around me, including my still spinning mind, so confused about what did and didn't happen last night. There was a dashing Surlau who I danced with most of the night, and there was another who approached me too, and I must remember what happened. Was I in control and happy? No, I remember. It was Gnisad, the dashing Surlau and I who got together last night. I know I've taken some risks, been silly and even a bit wild but I've never meant to hurt another I was in control and happy but there is a high chance I may be pregnant after Gnishad and I slept together last night an egg is fertilised by a sperm Lily and Gnishad might have both felt ready and grown up enough to sleep together, engaging in sexual activity, but not responsible enough. Lily has become pregnant. Lady Lily, Lord Sussancrad, I had quite a time at a wild party in the woods last night. Welcome to my castle gardens and summer fair. You came upon other guests partying on their way here? 
Yes. I didn't get much sleep and I am feeling just a little bit worse for wear. But I'm happy to be here at your extraordinary fair. I'll be exploring all the stalls. Though she tries to enjoy the summer fair, all Lily sees is the night before and a jumble of thoughts. Baby clothes, kids books, tower, toys, castle, crash. I'm really worried. I'm really worried that I may be pregnant. I might want children in the future, but now, alone, I worry what Kni said and others will say too. Anxiety, crazy towers, God's will, your future, love, and loss. This tent is very pink, isn't it? You like pink, but follow, follow your, your own, own dreams, dreams and desires. And desires. I need to get some real advice that helps me to think for myself. Many stray, dazzled like you, Lily. They lose sight of what is right and wrong. You're feeling lost. But there is a choice and a path before you that makes sense. There, there, there. there, there. It may turn your world upside down, but... But I need to be careful that I'm not feeling any pressure from the big ideas or firm beliefs of others. Medical science gives us options that would have been unthinkable not all that very long ago on Lefandi. So some older rules, ideas and beliefs might not hold true today. A very early baby can now be helped to survive outside its mother's womb a little after halfway. Amazing! Before 24 weeks, a fetus currently has no chance on Nifandi without further development in the womb. The law in Sissenkrad takes this 24 weeks into account to say that a pregnancy may be ended within that time. So the biggest option on finding out about a pregnancy here is to continue the pregnancy or choose to abort the pregnancy. There are many other factors that might push or pull us into, out of or around either answer. Am I ready and able in my life to raise a child now? Would it be a happy and healthy boy or a girl? Will it be safest for me to continue or to end the pregnancy, considering my own health? Do I have a Abortion. choice? Abortion is murder! Abortion is murder! Ban abortion! Ban abortion! Abortion is murder! Some feel very strongly that abortion or end in a pregnancy should be against the law on Sisenkrad, as it still is in some countries today. It is also very strongly felt that abortion should be a woman's choice in law, a choice that is made based on the unique situation of the individual. It does feel that it should be my decision but I am also imagining the pressure I might feel from Llen and my family, my friends and Gnisad. Some might encourage or even demand that I have an abortion. Some might say or even insist that I should continue with my pregnancy. You will probably need to talk to and consider the thoughts, feelings and suggestions of others. But this is your body, Lily. This six-week fetus gains rights at 24 weeks in Sisenkrad. There is a doctor, if neither Gnisad or I can parent, and I don't have an abortion. Adoption is a way of giving the baby over to new parents who will bring the baby up as their own. I was adopted and count myself as very lucky, although it can come with challenges and might not be ideal for all. 
I'm I'm sorry, but I just wouldn't be able to carry a baby for nine months and then give it over to someone else. It would upset me. Even though I know it can work out wonderfully. Zero to twenty-four weeks. There are two types of abortion, medication and physical. These each need to be applied more strongly if the pregnancy is more than 10 or 15 weeks along. Medication involves medication to cause an early loss of the pregnancy. Involves medication to cause the womb to contract and push the pregnancy out. If fully agreed upon and given by a doctor, pills will make the pregnancy fail and cause the body to behave as it would when a foetus is lost due to natural causes called a miscarriage. This can be a bit of an uncomfortable and painful experience, but is felt by some to be more natural and physical. The pregnancy is removed carefully using a specialist suction device. The pregnancy is physically removed while the patient is asleep under general anaesthetic. If fully agreed upon by a doctor and performed in a specialist clinic, a physical abortion can be done in one visit with little discomfort and fast physical recovery. Whichever option is decided on at whatever time. Abortion is a hard decision and often very upsetting. Thank you for being there for me, Lord Sassankrad. It has meant such a lot to me to have you to talk to. Your fear was my destination to which I set out with a wild freedom. I've reached out and loved along that bold journey to fall for love, but not from grace. I've never believed our place so unquestionably sacred. That would be a sour, still reflection on the water that in time will always fall under my feet is the freedom to fall now or fly for a little while in hope in wonder through reality it is our rigorously challenged understanding that lifts us through bold steps in life if we explore and consider the truth through science that we all learn and change by. My own choice was a difficult decision to make, but one I have grown from by not submitting to any given answer. <laughs>